Here's a million dollar question for you. The Muslim's holy book, the very words of God, was burnt outside a mosque in Stockholm on one of the most important Islamic occasions, Eid al-Adha, and the Swedish Prime Minister has a. condemned the perpetrators of this act, b. apologized to Muslims, c. blamed the police for issuing the meeting permit, or d. asked Muslims to stay calm and reflect. While you're thinking about the answer, let's take a quick look at what they burnt because they say, and I quote, it threatens democracy, ethics, human values, and human rights. Well, let's start by democracy. The Quran describes the believers as people whose affairs is determined by constitution among themselves. Then ethics. The Quran says, to believers, do not let the hatred of people prevent you from being just. Be just, that is near to righteousness. And human values, God says in the Quran, give good tidings to my servants, who listen to speech and follow the best of it. And finally, human rights, the Quran informs all humans that Whoever kills a soul unless for a soul, or for corruption done in the land, it is as if he had slain mankind entirely. And whoever saves one, it is as if he has saved mankind entirely. And these are just a few examples out of hundreds. So what's all the fuss about? The verses about killing the unbelievers, waging wars against innocent people? To make the long story short, it's all about getting the Quranic verses out of social, cultural, and political context. That's why Muslim scholars have established an independent field of study called tafsir, or Quranic interpretation, to understand the Quran as closest as possible to what it used to be understood at the time of Prophet Muhammad and early Muslims. The result of their efforts is tens, if not hundreds, of tafsir books in which they've explained nearly all so-called controversial verses multiple times. Now, back to our million-dollar question. The correct answer is, believe it or not, D. Yes, he's asked Muslims to stay calm and no, this is not a prank.